Did you know that Elementor doesn't actually have Google Fonts loaded within it? I know you're thinking, yes it does, because the fonts are there when I do my typography. No, when you're using your website, viewing it live or even editing it, it's actually pulling it from the Google Fonts website. So there's always a little bit of a call going on and that can affect the speed of your website. It can be a few seconds here or there, split seconds, but it can make an impact on your page speed insight. Now I am forever telling people to get rid of Google Fonts, remove them from your website. I use all to optimize with a little flick of a button and it's gone. There are other plugins as well, but what if you don't wanna use a plugin and you just wanna stick a bit of code in to remove Google Fonts? I'll show you that right now. When you remove Google Fonts, I better just mention, if you are now using something else like Railway or um, Ariel or whatever font you're using, Montserrat, please upload it into Elementor using the function over here, which is Elementor and custom fonts. Use that and load your font in. If you're only using one font, you could get away with the OMGF plugin, okay? But if you've got multiple fonts, because you've got a main font and a complementary font, custom fonts, get the correct weightings, only load what you're using, use that, so that now you're not having to like pull back from Google. Now, what if you want to remove Google fonts? I've already told you about Auto-Optimize. There's other plugins as well out there. Auto-Optimize, the one I, I recommend that because it's free. I'm not affiliated to them in any way. The other way to do it, and this is a super, super cool way, code snippets. Code snippets is free. Go and get it if you haven't got it already. This is what you should be using anyway if you want to mess around with your theme, but you don't want to use a child theme. This is what you should be using. What we're going to do is drop in a simple bit of code. We go to add new, and we're going to title this as remove Google fonts, okay? And then we're going to dump in this code. This code will be in the description, okay? So you don't need to go anywhere to look for it, okay? Just look to the description and there's the code. Once you've done that, it's adding in a filter to your theme without you touching the theme. So you don't need to worry about that. It's basically saying Google fonts return false. It's not gonna load them, okay? And if we now do save changes and activate, even though the fonts are available within Elementor, if you pick a font, say you pick Montserrat, on the, when you're editing Elementor, you will see Montserrat. But when you go to view it on live, I guarantee you it will revert to Roboto. Roboto is like the standard. So you use Lato, Montserrat, Questriel, Orbitron, whatever you use in edit with Elementor. And you're like, yeah, my website looks great. When you go to live, it will be Roboto. And that's when you start pulling out your hair. That is why you need to load those fonts into custom fonts. Okay, and then when you're picking your fonts, rather than scrolling down to Railway, at the top, you'll have your preloaded fonts, and that's what you use, okay? But make sure, if you're not using your top optimize or any other plugin, there's the code you need, drop that in, and your Google fonts will be removed. And you've just made your page speed score, I don't know, 10, 20% better? Take care, okay? I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll see you soon.